going on with me? This keeps happening to me. Ever since I lost my little brother, that that dude in the purple guard uniform, I just <clears throat> kind of having these hallucinations. I'm gonna have to talk to someone about this. I know just the person to go to. They'll help me for sure. Oh, hey. Hi, are you Mike Schmidt? Yes, sir. Can I please come in? Yeah. Sure. I need to talk to you about something. Yeah? What's going on? Well, you see, I'm the new night shift security guard at Freddy Fazbear's. Mm hmm And there's some stuff going on, and I just, I need to talk to someone that has a little more experience. All right, let's talk in a minute. In here. All right. I appreciate you meeting with me um, like this. It's just, I'm sorry if I seem a bit of a stranger to you. I'm just like, ever since I started working at that place, weird stuff has been going on. Like, what's been going on is just ever since I brought my little brother there because he wanted to see what my job was like, and my boss said it was fine, like, he wandered off all alone and I didn't even notice and then the last thing I rec I saw was a 
guy in a purple security uniform drag him away. And his scream, my little brother's scream, still haunts me to this day. And ever since that event happened, which was from a few nights ago, I've been having these hallucinations or visions or whatever you want to call them. I hear this, like, robotic voice talking in my head, and then I just start to feel all weird. My head starts killing me. And then it's just over. But something else happened to me when I was sleeping last night. I heard, like, this same thing. And then, all of a sudden, a loud scream just happens, and I wake up. Next thing I know, my TV's all staticky, and then this, whatever, like, I guess it's like an arcade game popped up my, on my TV, and the spelling out in the background saved them. Was it intelligible? It was like a robotic voice. Something very similar happened to me. Really? Does it happen to every security guard that works there? I'm not sure about that. Either they quit their job or they go missing. Something's not right. Has events like this happened before? You know, something similar happened to me when I was working at Freddy's. It was on my first day, too. I was looking at the cameras, seeing if anything was wrong. Nothing yet. Until the clock hit 1 a.m. That's when I noticed one of the animatronics were missing from their, di from their stage. I looked all over the cameras, and there he was in the hallway. It's like he was coming for me. And then I look at my cameras and look back and I see this golden suit. And that's when the hallucination started. I had to look away for him to go away. It was kind of terrifying. Stop it. But I still kept my week. Even though I wasn't supposed to be scheduled for the next two days. I had extra days, I guess. And then after that, I quit my job. to every single guard then. I'm guessing yours is just the beginning. Yeah. <coughs> so, what does all this mean? Who knows? You could hallucinate like words. It's me. It's me. And this attack you described just like a face. That's what I saw. They had real eyeballs. A human. It still haunts me to this day. Jesus. I'm just hoping the same thing doesn't happen to you. I... I never should have brought my brother there. It's all my fault. I had to just said no. I had to just left him there. Hey, it wasn't your fault. He wanted to go to Freddy to see what your job was like. He should have just stayed home. Because then he'd still be here today. It's not my fault. I failed my little brother. You failed no one. No one, you understand me? He 
wanted to go there. It's not your fault he wandered. I don't want to say that he knew better, but it's the truth. I remember the phone guy saying something about disappearances that have happened there before. Yeah, that was a long time ago. Did they ever find the guy that did? Maybe who you saw there, maybe it was him. Then I have to find him. How? I have my ways. Even if it means burning the place to the ground, I'll find him. You can't be serious. You're going to set the place on fire. I swear on Vinny's grave, I'll find him. And do what you have to do. Avenge him. Is there anything else I should know about Freddy's? Anything at all? Well, phone guy did also mention that the animatronics are quirky at night. They walk around the restaurant until 6 a.m. They go back to their stage like nothing ever happened. Okay. Watch out for them. And the freaking box. If you see a golden Freddy, look away. Thank you, Mike. I appreciate your help. Anytime. I have to start preparing. It's good to meet you. It's been a pleasure. You're not supposed to be here until 12 a.m. Get out of here now, right, before I fire you. I'll be back at 12. Why does Mr. Hafton have to be so rude? Like, I'm an employee. He shouldn't be this rude to me. Uh, he's always that way. He's always been... Could he be up to something? It wouldn't surprise me at this point. I mean, it's Freddy's. All right, anyways, I'll talk to you later. Bye. All right, just, uh... Be careful, okay? <sighs> Something's not right. Leave me alone! Don't touch me!